show. Jason Donovan seems to be handling his success well. Oh, he's a very nice fellow. And his father, actor, Terry Donovan, obviously raised him to be very polite. In fact, he still calls me Mr. Kennedy. That's nice to see in a young person. No, not Jason. Terry Donovan. His father still calls me Mr. Kennedy. Jason just says, G'day, frog eyes. Jason! <laughs> he blew me a kiss. I'm in love. <laughs> it's a new disease sweeping Britain. The sufferers are mostly under the age of 16, always female, and everyone afflicted with a terminal case of Jason mania. It was never, um, it's never planned this way, you know, someone said, do you want to become a seaman? And now it's sort of taken off in its own, its own right. It's no exaggeration. They have gone quite crazy over the boy from Melbourne. Jason Donovan's ever mindful press agents even keep account of the numbers who have fainted during his British tour. Do you reckon it's getting hot? Okay, time to get off. Oh. And here comes another one. That's 2,271. Okay. <laughs> the fact he mimes his 15-minute appearance at every show doesn't seem to worry the teeny boppers one bit. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? And he has a white jumper with black waistcoat on. <laughs> oh, wicked. <laughs> Would you see him again? Yeah! His one and only record album has so far sold over 400,000 copies. Accordingly, the tough British press has it always been too kind to Jason. I obviously get a lot of criticism because we're not trying to make political statements with our, our, our singing or our acting. Um, and that's sort of, I mean, as long as the majority of the kids are saying we enjoy it and they just take it for what it is, you know, nothing more and nothing less. <laughs> This is insane. And who could have put it better? In London, I'm Robert Penfold reporting for Graham Kennedy Coast to Coast.